What is up, my gang? I am back in the building with another banger. And as you can tell by the title, um, I'm going to be hitting you with one of those uh top five videos, but I just had to make this one. Yes, Nickelodeon's top five catchiest theme songs. Now, I don't think I've seen anybody make this type video, and it's a lot of catchy uh, theme songs out there, especially on Nickelodeon. Now, remember, this is my top five catchiest theme songs you may have your own list so if you do comment it below in the comments section. now this was hard to create a top five catchiest theme song list because nickelodeon has a lot of shows a lot of bangers. but i had to remember i had to put my brain power to the test and i have remembered there are some songs that you just always have to sing when they come on and uh i have my five so enough talking if you're excited for the video i'm gonna need you to go and uh Hit that like button, smash that like button, abuse that like button. But further ado, let's get into the video. Are you ready? Ooh, I know you see me standing here. Now, of course, first on my list, I have to go with Zoe 101. This is a epic, epic Bang, bro. I need all my nostalgic babies to just get in the group, huddle around, huddle in the comment section, and just take the time to remember when this came on. You just, you just knew every word for word by the word. You just knew. <laughs> It was a beautiful, beautiful melody. It was. Yes, a nostalgic classic indeed. And up there in one of my top five Nickelodeon shows, period. Without the theme song, it just was a good show overall. And it was some, uh, you know, talks about a reboot. And let me tell you something, bro. <laughs> if they make a reboot, they better 100% use the original theme song. I don't know if they're going to try to remix it and, you know, be like extra and just, just, um, don't do that. Just don't. I mean, this is just one of those theme songs that just don't need any tweaking. If you play this theme song today on television, the new generation is going to love it hands down, Gavin. But we're at like the two minute song mark. So if you made it this far and uh, Zoe 101 is in your top five catchiest theme song list, let me know below if it made your list because I'm pretty sure a lot of you is going to have this song on your list. I mean, it's a banger, bro. But let's move on to number two. Five, four, three, two. Now, duh, for number two, I'm definitely going with iCarly, a uh, culturally popular, well-known show. Everybody knows this theme song. It's definitely catchy. It's top five. Easy. I mean, if you don't know this theme song, you need to just uh, put your arms up and uh, move your rock because uh, you're lost, my boy. I will say I did have a hard time putting this in the top five because there was so many other shows that could have easily beat this one. But this is just one of those shows that just I see too much of, and everybody just always talk about Ike Carly when they mention anything Nickelodeon related, and it just always comes up. So it's just like I went with the most popular one that everybody know about, and of course I used to watch the show Banger, Banger, Banger. But I will say this: even though it was on TV and I did watch the show, I found myself getting like I don't know, like I found the show getting like boring at, at sometimes. Like I will watch it, and I watch a lot of episodes pretty much the entire season that was put out, but, like, it would just get boring for some reason. Like, is it just me? Like, am I the only one who, who felt like that? Like, I felt like it was boring, but, like, I still watched it for some reason. But, like, if it was something better on, I'm, I turned. Is it just me? Oh, okay. But we're about three minutes and some change. And if you made it this far and uh, I, Carly, made your uh, top list, uh, let me know in the comments below. Comment it. Let me know you made it this far. And this is also on your list because I know a lot of you is probably going to have this on your list. Probably more you're going to have this on your list than Zoe 101. But uh, I'm really, uh, really interested to see it. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, let's just move on to uh, number three, shall we? I never found that it be so simple, but I found a way. Another, another classic nostalgic show, Drake and Josh. This is everybody's favorite. I'm sure this is going to be in a lot of people's top five. Like, this is up there. It's in my top five shows, period. Not just, you know, theme songs. This is just, just a dope show, period. This is a banger, bro. Banger. This is banger with multiple Bs. This is one of them shows that came out, and I remember, like, coming off of, like, Keenan and Kel, which is, like, probably one of my most favorite Nickelodeon shows that's out there that, that was ever created. 
definitely first on my list, period, was uh, Keenan and Kel. So when this show came out, it kind of had that same concept of Keenan and Kel. And I know some people was calling this like that new Keenan and Kel and things like that. So this this show definitely fell in that same position of Keenan and Kel. So that top five like show list is definitely Keenan and Kel, Drake and Josh, and then the list goes on, Zoe 101, and so forth. But yeah, bro, great show. Great kind of like, I guess, not really a spin-off, but a, a great concept that they did after Keenan and Kel was when they gave us Drake and Josh, that, that little uh, brotherly duo. And it was just overall a good piece for the uh, for the book. But you already know how this is. If you made it this far, we are about five minutes in and some change. If you made it this far and Drake and Josh did make your list, I know a lot of y'all going to have this on your list along with iCarly because if you grew up or were born in like the 2000s or a little-ish, down that line, this is 1,000% on your list. That's a no-brainer. But uh, that being said, let's move on to number four. Here I am, once again, feeling lost, but now and then. Yes, number four on the list, we uh, we have Victorious. Um, this show... Uh, this show really turned out pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Besides the theme song being like catchy and pretty cool to sing along to when it came on, the show actually really grew on me when it first came out. Uh, and I was coming off like Zoe 101 when this show came out. And Victoria is played in Zoe 101 when she was like much uh, younger. So when she got her own show, it was a no brainer that I was going to tune so in. So coming off of Zoe 101 and then going to like another school concept type of show. I was uh I was ready for it and uh I received very well. For me, this was that type of show that whenever I turn through the channel and I see that it was on, I would stop doing everything to just tune into the episode. I could have seen the episode a thousand times and that didn't stop me from watching it again and again and again. It was just entertaining to watch and I felt like it was always a new episode that I didn't see. But aside from how good the show was, the theme song was very catchy. Whenever it came on, I sang it word for word. And uh, yeah, so it's it's making my top five catchiest uh, theme song list. Easy. You know how we do. If you made it this far, we're about seven minutes in. and some change. Comment below if Victoria's made your top five list. Um, I don't really expect a lot of people to have this on their list just because I don't really hear a lot of people talk about this show when it comes to Nickelodeon. I mean, the people who are like me, they like them tight teen type shows, like the Degrassi's and things like that, and Zoe One On Ones. Then they yeah, they would mention this show, but a lot of but like the younger people, they probably won't mention this show. But if it made your list, comment below and uh, let me know. And so, last yeah. but not least, I say the most popular show out the entire batch for last. So uh, let's move on to number five. Are you ready, kids? Aye aye, Captain. I can't hear you. Aye. Yeah, that little uh, that little pirate with the mockingbird on his shoulder. Yeah, that guy. Uh, that's the reason why this show made a uh, top five. Do I even have to explain why SpongeBob was in the top five? Like the most popular show on Nickelodeon that saved Nickelodeon to this day. SpongeBob has inspired thousands, probably even millions of memes and concepts on the internet. It's a show that kids and multiple adults has claimed as their favorite shows to this day. I'm not even talking about adults that grew up off the show. I'm talking about adults that just tuned in one day and just decided, hey, I really like this show. Ooh. But all that aside, he lives in the pineapple under the sea, SpongeBob SquarePants. That... That line alone has been mocked by millions of people, has been sung by millions. Everybody knows that song. Everybody knows that theme song that they haven't even watched the show. If that's not top five, then I don't know what is. I mean, if you don't know what this show is, I mean, you don't live under a rock at all. I mean, you're not from this planet. As a matter of fact, you was just born today. But that's even, that's impossible because if you was born today, you probably got a SpongeBob plushie or some type of toy. Even babies know about this show, bro. It's, it's no excuse. But yeah, bro, that's my top five. Uh, Nickelodeon's top five catchiest theme songs. These are my five. And uh, I want to know your five. So if you got this far, go to the uh, comments and type your entire list, your entire top five. I want to know what some of y'all put in y'all's. I know not everybody's going to have all these on their list. So your your list probably going to be different, most likely. So and uh, I want to see it. So uh, yeah, comment it below. And uh <sighs> Glad you enjoyed the video. And if you, if did. you did enjoy that video, hit that like button. Let's get this video to like, I don't know, a thousand likes. Also, while you at it, follow me on Instagram and Twitter because uh, we lit uh, 
over it here. Oh, and while you at it, don't forget to go check out some of the music. I'll have the Spotify and the SoundCloud links below. Uh, check out uh, Zoe 101. I don't know, Bubblegum Hill that I just recently dropped. Go check out those bangers because uh, bangers. And if you want me to do more top five videos, I can do one for Disney. But we uh, Disney going to be a little tough. So if you actually want me to sit through that suffering of narrowing it down to top five Disney catchiest theme songs, and uh, I, I, I guess I can do it. But let me know in the comment section if you want it, and uh, I'll get that video to you uh, as soon as possible. Guaranteed. I will deliver. But I'm going to get out of here. Until next time. Liner of the month. Ah. Always smoking blunt. Always on.